Good afternoon. Uh, I'm here to talk about quadratic factorising. Been asked to do a bit of that. Quadratic factorising where you've got more than one x squared. This was actually discovered uh, by someone on the internet. It's called Voke O Yo Yo. It's a crazy way of doing your quadratic factorising, but it does work. This is Francis. Just say hello. He doesn't talk. Hello, he says. Uh, Francis is going to be helping us today. He's very good at sums, like Francis. Oh, we got first. What are you going to write first? You're going to write it. So uh, you got three x plus. So that, that's the answer. So three x squared. Yep. Yeah. Uh, plus x. Do you think you might be writing that a bit big? X minus fourteen. Is that right? Yeah. Good. Uh, what we do? It's a bit weird. Right. We change that three x squared into an x squared, and we times the minus fourteen by 3 instead. So you get x squared plus x minus 42. And that's easier to factorise because you've only got 1x squared. So you put it in brackets. But you leave a gap. Uh, two numbers that add up to 1 times to make minus 42. There's 7 and minus 6. Is that right? Uh, that 3 that you had there, you put that back in there. And the final step, uh, you look in each bracket individually and if there's a common factor, then you get rid of it. So 3x plus 7, nothing apart from 1 goes into those. Uh, and then 3x minus 6, uh, well 3 goes into both of those, so you can divide both bits by 3. And you get x minus 2, and that is the factorisation of the thing at the top. So. Yeah, voke o yo yo, sounds a bit like ok, you know? Oh no no, and all, yeah. Okay. We've got one more for you, in 10x squared, uh, minus 11x, minus 6, hang on. What are our things done here? Yeah, you uh, get rid of the number on the uh, x squared, minus 60. Then you factorise that and leave your gap there, leave gap. And then uh, two numbers at times to make minus 60 add up to minus 11. That'd be minus 15 and plus 4. Then this 10 that we had before, that comes back down. And then both these brackets have something you, know, you can divide by. So 10x and 15, both of those can be divided by 5. So you get 2x and minus 3. And then your 10x plus 4, uh, 2 goes into both of those, so that'd be 5x. And, oops, and, and 2. And if you check it, you've got 10x squared there, yeah? And then your middle two terms, you've got your minus 15x and a plus 4x, and that makes your minus 11x. That is how you do it, isn't it? That's how you factorise quadratic uh, with more than 1x squared if you want to do it in a weird way. No one, uh, you can't prove it. Anyway, goodbye. Say goodbye, Francis. Yeah. Yeah, you can't hear him. He just says... Yeah. So... Gonna rub some stuff out. Oh, he's good at rubbing. Excellent. Oh, we missed. Okay, you're very good at holding a pen. Okay, here we go.